Okay, at this point, I'd like to invite on the stage uh, Vijay Sundar. So first of all, um, I think uh, uh, you, you are the, uh, you are the co-founder and CEO of SmartD. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about uh, what SmartD does. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having me, Ed. Um, what SmartD does is SmartD converges four um, main areas of uh, IT security management, which is service management, governance, risk, and compliance, program management, and financial management in a box for small, medium-sized enterprise. Um, the, the challenge we are trying to solve is that the SMEs are um, having a lot of cost pressures, fragmented systems, fragmented data, then inter stitching information together is taking a lot of time. And on top of it, now AI is adding more complexity with regards to how we are going to interact with data, how we are going to create, manage, and govern knowledge. So this is the problem that we are going after. And top of it, one of the important things is that we have to deliver this value simple, flexible, and cost-effective because we are going after the SME market. So that's so. when we are looking at the solution about um, 14 months back, um, especially uh, one of the, in fact, one of the advisors came and asked us, uh, you're pretty late in the AI thing, you just need to turn the solution because we are very focused on that integrated platform. Um, then 12 months forward, we now launched SmartD.AI on top of EatWave. And absolutely, and uh, in fact, we worked very closely with the Oracle team. Uh, and uh, we were literally able to shave off about 12 months of our roadmap by going this direction. And what, and what, what drew you to HeatWave? Right? Why, why did you first uh, get engaged with us? Yeah, so the, the, the reason, the, the core uh, product that you're talking about, the, the, the IT con convergence solution, uh, we early on um, in the formation of the company, we decided that we want to stick with the relational structure and we want to build everything on top of the relational, although we tried a few other databases, uh, but we decided to do that. Um, the, then we, in fact, went and looked at several solutions from an AI perspective in the marketplace. We looked at uh, Databricks, we looked at Snowflake, uh, but eventually we landed up with uh, EatWave. I still remember having a conversation with the product team in California and Danville, and they came and they were talking about the EatWave coming out. It was exact alignment with it, because internally we had a vision of this notion of relational AI. Uh, anything that we wanted to build, we wanted to build on top of the relational structure. And, um, and this literally fitted that, uh, that bill. Yeah. So, so um, after you'd made the, the selection for HeatWave and, and um, you, 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 you began to develop, how, how long did it take you to go from beginning to develop to production? Yeah, so um, once we delivered the SmartD.AI platform, which is on top of the AI infrastructure um, software, hardware, uh, which uh, came with EatWave, uh, the uh, delivery of all of our Gen AI solutions. We, in fact, now delivered three Gen AI solutions on top of the product, and we have four machine learning models for categorization we have delivered. Uh, we went, in fact, in a month, uh, <laughs> we went live. Uh, in fact, we did live about a month, a couple of months back. Yeah. Wow. I mean, so, I mean, going live in a month, I mean, that's pretty impressive for anyone using any, any kind of technology. So, I mean, what do, you, what do you think are the key Gen AI capabilities of HeatWave that, that have made a difference for you? Yeah, so uh, for us, the integrated stack um, is, is huge. Um, because when we did a pilot very early on, uh, about 18 months back for a large medical insurance company, uh, they gave us data and they said, go ahead and come uh, figure out, a, a predict a problem based on the incident data. Um, the process of taking that spreadsheet, doing it in Python, uh, we spent months getting that whole model up and running. Uh, this was absolutely, uh, when we moved to uh, EatWave, everything was absolutely seamless, right? So you don't move out of the database. Everything happens in the database. One of the important things that I want to mention this is with regards to skill set. 
the relational skill set is out there in the marketplace. So when you deal with Gen AI, you deal with the relational concept. You don't go out of that world. And there is literally about five, seven APIs that they provide from model generation to generating of uh, uh, the Gen AI capabilities. It's just uh, absolutely simple. So how do you think, um, how do you think your choice of Heatwave Gen AI has, has helped your customers? Uh, so um, the, whatever the value that we received from Heatwave, because the time that um, literally shrunk us from taking Heatwave and going, creating the smarter D.AI is the value now. Now the customers don't need to worry about those aspects now of uh, worrying about embeddings, worrying about the Gen AI models. Everything is now abstracted. What we have now done is, out of the box, we deliver the, the, the models or the Gen AI solution, or they have the ability to build custom solutions on top of uh, the platform that we have come up with. So uh, beyond um, or outside of generative AI, are you, are you using Heatwave for any other workloads? Yeah, we are. So what we have done is, uh, with regards to, uh, we do AutoML capability. So we have delivered about four models on AutoML now. So we use JavaScript. We are slowly moving away. So we have about 500, 600 APIs return in Java. So we're slowly moving towards JavaScript so that we can be close to the engine, database engine. And then we do have, uh, in fact, we played with the auto-indexing capability of uh, uh, Heatwave as well. That's great. Um, thank you so much for coming and, and uh, talking, uh, talking with us today. Thank great. you so much. Thank you very much.